Well, it's definitely a struggle here in Chicago this morning. The last hit, if you guys were watching, my lips were frozen. I couldn't even talk because it's so cold out here, but we're here to tell you what kind of warming centers are available for you and your family. Now, we're talking about everything from police stations to libraries to churches, really any kind of community service centers that we have for you here. But you have to call 311 in order to get their hours of operations and any kind of operation days that they're open because things do sometimes change. But now, let's shift gears and talk about how to keep you and your family safe during these low temperatures. You already know, like I had just mentioned, to call 311 to locate a warming center near you. But there is one warming center that is opened and available for 24 hours, seven days a week, and that is the Garfield Center on 10 South Kedzie Avenue. That's why it's so important to stay informed so when you arrive, you know exactly what to expect. Next, you can call 311 to request a well-being check. You can report home heating issues, and you can even learn how to save money during the winter. Now, how do you keep your family safe? These tips here are through the Chicago Department of Family and Support Services. You have to wear several layers of loose, warm clothing. You have to keep your head, hands, and feet covered while you're outside because, of course, no one wants to get frostbite or any type of hypothermia. You have to avoid alcoholic beverages, recognize symptoms of hypothermia, and never use an extension cord with a space heater. And ovens, of course, as you guys already know, should not be used to heat homes. And I think, based off of what I'm wearing here, I can't even move if I turn. I feel like I have to turn my whole body. I can't even turn my neck. You guys have to layer up this morning. If you're heading to school, if you're heading to work, make sure that your children are bundled up because it is freezing. I'm trying not to shake right now as I'm giving you guys all this information. We're going to jump right, right back into the car because my photographer is like rolling his eyes right now. But for now, I'm live at the Illinois Medical District. Diana Gutierrez, The Jam.